can't beat the weather today. It's in the uh, mid 80s here in Ohio. Nice sunshine. So we're over a half a mile. 18 satellites, 83% battery. We're on normal mode. Just flying her on out, folks. We're just going to go ahead and circle up to this water tower that you see on the left of the screen. Doing good, no breakup in FPV. Now there were some people out there asking about joystick settings and there isn't any for the, um, the y'all yet. But stay tuned. I'm hoping that with another update to the app that they add that helps slow down the, the um, vertical and the horizontal uh, rotation on it which will be a definitely a big plus yeah, we're just doing a nice little yaw 360 of this area Raise the gimbal up a little bit. As you can tell, flying this drone in a city environment, real world experience, no breakup in FPV, which is really nice. flying over some houses so definitely going to get some Wi-Fi uh, signals in between but it's not interfering with the OcuSync 2.0 on this drone and now we're flying over these trees and we're still getting good signal so definitely uh, handles it pretty well in real world environments I'm not flying down a beach without any obstacles you can see all the trees and all the buildings and this is where you really want to test the drone to its limits to see how it handles and so far she's doing good Apologize, it's kind of a windy day here, but she handles the wind really well. We're just going to stop her here. She stops on the dime with the joysticks. And do a nice little 360. Well, let's go ahead and fly over towards me over on this side Just went right over 
right above us, the home point. Still doing good on the battery, it's 65%, 17 satellites. We're heading over this way now. Still excellent signal above all these houses and trees. Continue to push her out. I think most people will fly in environments similar to this where you're going to have a lot of houses and a lot of trees. So, this is a good thing to show people um, exactly uh, how it handles. We're over a half a mile now, and we're going to go ahead and just do a nice little circle here, zoom down. Image quality is still really good. Continue to push her out a little bit. As you can tell, full bars on the signal. Just a nice bird, folks. If you're considering getting a drone, and you're new to drones, this is not a bad drone. I uh, don't get reliability. Uh, you won't have issues downloading firmware updates like you would on the uh, Xeno 2. Quite a few people have had issues downloading firmware on that bird, and I was one of them. But I was able to eventually get it working again. But somebody knew you don't want all those headaches. You just want to be able to download the updates and go out and fly it. So we're just heading over this way a little bit. Close to a mile on this side of the park. A lot of trees, no issues. I'm just getting some nice scenery in. Circling around. So we're going to head back over this way a little bit. Doing a very nice job. Havoc Air 2. I want to thank all my subscribers and all my new subscribers for subscribing. The outcome was very good on the views, especially on my range test. And uh, you'll see other range tests as well, but my range test was in a uh, congested area similar to this, and it handled really well, over two miles, still had excellent signal. So 
thank you all again and if you're new to my channel hit subscribe hit all notifications and I'll keep you up to date on the latest and greatest new drones so we're just heading back over towards us I am using the phone recorder I will go ahead and um, post or upload the uh, SD card reading as well but I wanted you guys to see what I'm seeing on the controller uh, looking pretty good Take her on out over this way, back again. Still doing well. Signal strength is excellent. Up, oh, and the app has now crashed. Don't panic, folks. It'll come back on, and here it is. It's back. Um, so the update did not correct. The app crashes, but we're still good on signal. It has nothing to do with the signal on the uh, controller. Or AccuSync 2.0. It's just an issue with the app that they still haven't uh, fixed with the latest update today, 1.1.2. So hopefully the third time's the charm with another update. Hopefully soon, especially for somebody that's flying this drone the first time and loses the uh, app, it does get you a little nervous. But she came back on and we're just going to fly her back because we're getting a little lower on battery at 36%. I dropped the gimbal down. We're approaching the home point. She's going to fly over this way. Do a nice little 360. And then we'll hit the uh, return to home. And land her right on the pad. Thanks again for watching Jaybird Drone, the original. Stay tuned for the giveaway. Okay, so we're just approaching the home point. Drop the camera down. See the pad. There it is. Now she will descend. She does descend pretty quick, as you can see, at 7 miles an hour. She's coming down to 150 feet. Looks like we're going to hit the landing pad. The precision landing on this drone is incredible. I do recommend to hover above your home point before you take it up so it can the sensors can sense the uh, home point 
on the pad or if you hand catch it here we go we're coming in and she is coming on down folks thanks for watching